okay. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jay and this is Jay Medicine and it's been forever since I did this. I don't even know how this works. Uh, so for those of you that don't know, I am a fourth year medical student going into, actually, let me keep that a secret. I just won't tell you guys what I'm gonna do my residency in until I do it. So today I'm gonna to be doing a review of this, this amazing stethoscope, okay? We're gonna get into that. By the way, happy new year to everybody. Um, we finally entered 2020, I mean 2022. Uh, and it's gonna be great. My graduation year, I'm so excited. So many good things happening. And hopefully I can keep you guys updated on all that. So yeah, um, Loki Omicron got your boy. It's a shame, it's a shame, but Omicron got your boy. And I was down for like a day and then it kind of just went away. So yeah, vaccinated individuals, get your boosters. If you're not vaccinated, get your vaccines, please. It's really, really necessary. But yeah, so let's go ahead and get into it. So this stethoscope right here is the Littman Cardiology 4 powered by Echo. So what happened was there's a team slash company called Echo. And what they do is they make these little devices. This is the newer one, the slimmer one, it looks nicer. The old one was like this triangular, Cylind? I don't know. I forgot the third grade shapes. It's a cone. It was a cone. I don't know. This one is a lot cooler though. So what this does is it takes the noise inside and it's pretty much like noise cancellation slash it boosts the noise. So anything that you hear, it will, using magic technology, will automatically make the sound louder. And for anyone that needs to quickly physically examine a patient, listen to their heart, listen to their lungs, and know that they don't have to sit there and like meticulously listen to get the right diagnosis. It's like such a game changer because literally since I got the stethoscope, I go into a patient's room and I will put the stethoscope on and I know exactly, I know exactly what I'm gonna get every time. And that thing that I get is just the most clear sound that I could possibly get. And I'm very confident in my diagnosing capabilities. And honestly, it's pretty amazing. Like we joke in the medical community, especially in medical school about how like, oh, we just put the stethoscope on the patient. And like, if we get a sound, we get a sound. Um, and the physical examination, a lot of times when it comes to the stethoscope is not vital for a diagnosis. We have things like imaging and all this uh, labs and other stuff, but that's kind of a bad hole to fall into because physical exam is so quick and it can give you so much information. So making sure you get the, the right diagnosis out of it is super important. So the story about why I spent the money that I don't have on this is, um, which I did by the way, I'm not sponsored by them. I bought this with my own uh, loan money. <laughs> So this entire package is $350, but it's on sale right now for $300. If you get the attachment itself, you can attach it to any stethoscope, but the attachment itself is $250. So you can spend $250 on the attachment or $300 now on the entire thing. So let me tell you why that's a great deal, okay? Now before this, I was using the Littman Classic uh, stethoscope. That's like the typical stethoscope you get when you get into medical school. And that stethoscope, the classic, is a good stethoscope because it's made by Littman. And Littman is unanimously, and you can ask anyone in the medical community, the best stethoscope in the game. Like Littman is the top brand. When it comes to stethoscopes within the Littman brand, the Master Cardiology 4, which if you take this little echo attachment off, is what this is. I've tried many stethoscopes and let me tell you, this is the best one, okay? The Master Cardiology 4. I use the Master Cardiology 4 without this attachment and it sounds amazing. It sounds it's just incredible. Compared to the classic, you can get so many more heart sounds, so much clearer lung sounds. Everything just sounds way better. That has a lot to do with this bell. This bell is a little bit longer so it allows for kind of those lower frequencies um, and just better sound to get through. And this tubing is a little bit thicker. All in all, it just sounds way better. So what Echo did is they took this Master Cardiology 4, which sounds amazing by the way, and they added noise cancellation and just a bunch of features to it by putting this attachment on there. You don't have to have this attachment on at all times. You can use the regular Master Cardiology 4, turn the attachment off, no technology, just listen to it naturally, and it sounds great. But once you turn this thing on, man, it's like, it's like when Spider-Man like takes his suit off, you know what I mean? Like my senses are tingling, my auditory senses. So let me tell you the story about why I had to buy this thing. Uh, so pretty much I had the classic Littman uh, and it got stolen from me. I was like in a shift in the emergency department. I was on pediatric uh, ER and I just left my stethoscope. Don't ever leave stethoscopes anywhere. I come back, it's not there, um, stolen. 
So then I spent the next few weeks using the disposable stethoscope in the emergency room that you get from like the PPE carts. And that thing was about as useful as like the Fisher Price stethoscopes. Actually, the Fisher Price ones probably are better than that one. Um, but yeah, it was just not, just not it. I couldn't hear a single thing. Literally, the only thing I would hear is like the little metal clanking on it. It was just impossible. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna get a stethoscope. And I looked online and you know, to get a decent Littman stethoscope, you're gonna have to dish out like 100, $200. And I really wanted the cardiology, the cardiology four to be exact. The thing itself costs like $200. So for about $100 more, I can have this fancy thing and it's like matte black, so it looks cool and it works amazing. Uh, so I tried it, you know, I tried it, I got it and I fell so in love with it that I will never ever send it back. So let's get into the cool things slash the pros of this stethoscope. So the first thing is, the first thing that kind of like, you know, threw me off was like, oh, it's a stethoscope, but there's technology. Uh, ah, you know what I mean? Like I'm working, like, let me just use my stethoscope. I don't want to have to be burdened by technology. But the thing is, this Echo, first of all, this little attachment, when you charge it, I've gone weeks, weeks without having to charge it again. And it's really good. The battery life is really good on it because it's really not doing that much. It's just amplifying some noise. But the thing is, when this thing does run out of battery, it's a cardiology four, you know? It's like an escalator. When an escalator breaks, it becomes a set of stairs. You're not losing any functionality. You're just adding a little bit to it. Now again, with the Master Cardiology 4, you get the great sound, the great low frequencies. You can hear the heart sounds really well. You can, you know, even the lung sounds are better. It's not like it's just the heart sounds that are better. You're not sacrificing anything else. Everything just sounds amazing on here. These foam tips are really good. They're, they're just extremely comfortable. And this thing comes with, uh, you know, lifetime supply of like accessories. Like for this one specifically, I lost the diaphragm uh, and I called them back and they sent me another one. So that was, that was great. So now we get into the attachment itself, the echo attachment. Let me show you something cool, okay? So this attachment, the echo attachment, it takes the sound from the diaphragm and it can do many things with that sound, okay? The main things that it does is it amplifies it and it gives you noise cancellation. Now the noise cancellation is kind of like inherently built into the foam tip. They talk about noise cancellation, but I don't really know if that's what they do. I think it just amplifies the noise. Like you're not gonna hear much when you put any stethoscope, any Littmann stethoscope on. The other thing that this magical thing could do is it can record. So what you do is you get on your fancy smartphone, you download the Echo app, and say you want to you know, record a sound presented to your attending, or you know, some patient has AFib, or they have some kind of like, you know, some kind of a shunt, some kind of a septal defect, and you're like, wow, that sounds really cool, I wanna record that so I know what it sounds like in the future. You can record it onto the app. Now, personally, in the hospital, just because I'm in the ER a lot, um, I don't really have time to do all that, but the one thing that that's really cool for, and I've literally, you know, as I'm interviewing for these residency programs, I have talked to doctors that told me that during COVID, uh, they bought this thing and what they would do, ready for some magic? You can literally take the rest of the stethoscope off, okay? You unscrew it, okay? That's now useless. And this is a functioning stethoscope right here. Now, of course, there's no way for me to really hear this right now. Nope. But once you turn it on, you can get on the app and you can put AirPods on, okay? You put AirPods or any, any headphone and you connect to the app. And they told me, the people that did this, they would put this in a plastic bag for patients that had COVID. The nurse would go in, they would put the stethoscope on the patient and you can, in live, real time, listen through your AirPods what the, this thing is listening to through Bluetooth. So yeah, this thing has this thing has Bluetooth. So yeah, you know, practical application for COVID patients, for any patients where you're like, you know, I don't want to go in the room. There's like precautions, whatever it may be. I just want to hear their uh, heart sounds without having to go in there. Literally give this to whoever is taking care of the patient. They will put it on the patient and you can listen in real time. Another practical application that I see out of this, maybe I shouldn't be telling you this because maybe I'm giving away some secrets, but I just see, you know, future telehealth, I see a patient signing up for a clinic or like a family doc kind of business thing and they get a kit and the kit has something like this. Obviously it might not be a cardiology four or whatever, but you know, these things are gonna get cheaper over time as technology does. Uh, so you send them a kit, they have this, and then whenever you're doing your visit, you can be like, okay, place this thing, you know, on your chest, kind of under your whatever. 
put it here, put it here, and the doctor will be able to listen to it in real time. So there we go, telehealth, another barrier broken when it comes to physical examination. This thing is the future. It's an example of the future. So let me show you guys how this thing works, okay? I'm gonna screw the thing back in. Let's do some ASMR, all right, ready? All right. All right, let's get into how this thing actually works. So when the thing is off, you use it like a regular stethoscope. You just put it on, you use it. Now, the magic happens when you push this little button and this little light turns on and it starts blinking, okay? When that happens, we're in business. Now, if I'm not using the app, which I'm, I'm never using the app, I put this thing on and when I put it on my chest, I can immediately hear that this is doing something. Now, if you look at the echo attachment itself, there's three buttons. There is a minus button, a plus button, and a circle. So the plus and the minus are supposed to be for volume control. You can make it louder and quieter, that's the word. The circle button is for when you're recording on the app. So that app lets you record. And then there's a micro USB attachment here for charging purposes. One thing that I've noticed about this stethoscope is with a lot of stethoscopes, honestly, with any stethoscope, you should be putting the stethoscope on the patient's skin so you get good contact, you get good, clear sound. Um, and you should be doing that all the time. That's what we're taught. But a lot of times we just don't have the ability to do that because we're kind of, you know, quick in and out of the room. The patient, you know, has a bunch of clothes on, whatever the case may be, just sometimes we can't get to that. What I've noticed with this stethoscope is even on clothes, especially if it's just like a shirt or something, the difference between what you hear with the clothes on versus what you hear without the clothes on is not going to be as big. At least subjectively it won't just because you're catching so much already with the clothes on. Again, if you do it on skin, it's going to sound a little bit better, but you're not going to be missing much. Now contrast that to like another stethoscope. I can very rarely get like really good sounds when I put it on clothes. Now I really want you guys to hear this thing and I'm going to do that now. And that's a great opportunity for me to show you guys the app. So when you log into the Echo app, you have to turn on your Bluetooth. Obviously it connects to the stethoscope um, and automatically you see a sound waveform and that's, you know, the sound that you're getting out of the stethoscope. Now, either on the stethoscope, you click the circle or on the app, you click the circle and you can start recording. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And by the way, uh, if you listen to this with headphones, it's obviously going to sound better. But first I'm going to do on the shirt. Okay. All right, now I'm going to go under the shirt and see if it sounds any different. All right, now I'm going to do some lung sounds because that was one of my main questions with this was, can you hear the lung sounds? You know, obviously it's great for the heart. It's a cardiology and it's wonderful. But what do the lung sounds sound like? It's kind of awkward. All right, so as you can see, those are really good lung sounds. I had the stethoscope on my shirt. Uh, that was the crackles. That was just the stethoscope moving on my shirt. Um, I don't have like CHF or anything. Those were not crackles, crackles. All right, so that is the stethoscope. It's a great buy, definitely worth the money. Let's talk about some cons, okay? Now there's not a lot, but we'll talk about it. The first thing is this thing has a micro USB. It's 2022 now, like let's just use USB-C, get with the times, come on. The other thing is I've noticed that if you turn it up too loud, it gets kind of staticky uh, and there's a lot of like noise, I guess. So I like to have it kind of like in the middle. Another thing is specifically when it comes to the lung sounds, I've noticed that sometimes I just have to turn this thing off and I get better lung sounds when I just use the regular stethoscope without the noise cancellation. When it comes to the heart sounds though, I always have this thing on every time. Now it kind of works vice versa too. There's also times where I can't really hear the lung sounds until I put the noise cancellation on. I've been like holding this thing like a snake, like I'm a snake charmer. I used to be so much cooler before med school, man. Anyways, the other con that I have is when you're doing this through Bluetooth, if you're listening through Bluetooth, there's a bit of a lag if I'm listening in real time. So if I'm putting the thing on my heart and I'm listening to it, it's not like my heart beats and then I hear it you'll hear it like a half second later, which shouldn't be a problem for anyone that's like using it for telehealth or for like a patient that has COVID. But if you're trying to use the app and like listen to it through AirPods, um, it's not gonna be like real time, real time. Other than that, the battery life is great. You got everything you need, the pediatric side, the adult side, you can take the diaphragm off, turn it into a bell, the cardiology for best stethoscope. I mean, I'm talking like I've used like 
the Harvey stethoscope, the thing that looks like the three-headed dragon that you would see in like Harry Potter, even that thing, like it's not as good as this because this uses technology for the right reasons. I do think they're gonna make a new one of these, I, you know, fairly soon. Um, so if you wanna wait on that before you get this, but at the same time, if you need a new stethoscope and you have the money to drop on this, this is worth the buy. And again, I'm not sponsored by Lipman or by Echo. But again, if you guys wanna sponsor me and you're watching, please hit ya boy up. But yeah, that's the end of my video, guys. I hope everyone's doing well. I hope everyone that's about to take step one is, you know, gonna do great on it. Pass fail now officially, so lucky you guys. But yeah, everyone that's going through med school, applying to med school, best of luck. Any questions, drop it in the comments. Follow me on my Instagram. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to the channel, get your notifications on. I will be making more videos. It's fourth year, best year. I have all this free time. But yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.